morning guys and happy birthday to me Woo, i'm 29 today getting older and older next year i'm gonna be 30 which is in, in an insane thought um emily's kindly doing all the driving to south australia today we're just about to leave Madura. we are thanks for doing the driving honey hello emily got me some flowers she ducked out they're really beautiful if i remember i'll show them properly, properly later but she ducked out while i was meditating this morning to go and get flowers for my birthday and a card so it's really sweet um yeah so she's doing all the driving it's about four and a half hours a little bit over we've already no holds barred today in terms of food i'm not going to feel guilty one little bit we've already planned the bakery that we're going to stop at on the way because my friend emily who lives in mildura says it's really good um, we are, like I said, about to leave Mildura. We're just going to grab some breakfast beforehand. I'm so excited to see Emma and Kylie. It's going to be awesome. Um, and yeah, I just I can't wait to have an amazing day with everyone. It's going to be really cool. <laughs> So I'm definitely milking my birthday. I ordered the pork breakfast dish and I sort of half knew that I didn't know that I wouldn't want it but I had pork for breakfast yesterday as well. Emily ordered the eggs benedict and then when I saw it I was like damn that looks better than mine and I asked her if we could swap and she said yes because she's too sweet <laughs> even though it had capsicum in it she doesn't like capsicum. Did you realize it first? No, because I sort of saw the red bits and I thought it was tomato. And then I started eating and like, that's nah, not tomato. Oh, and then sorry. there was green capsicum in it too. And I'm I was like, sorry. It's okay. Thanks I didn't tell you until it was too late for thanks, a reason. Thanks for letting me have eggs benedict. And yeah. thanks for keeping it a secret. And so I didn't feel bad. Exactly. Also that I couldn't turn it back because I'd already <laughs> eaten all of the eggs benedict. It's yeah. the first time I've ever had eggs benedict. My lord, I've been missing out. I don't know why I haven't tried it. But I will again. It's freaking tasty, very creamy, the hollandaise sauce. It's awesome. Anyway, the road trip begins. Raphael Nadal's book. Very good. Um, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it that much. I just bought it because obviously I admire him as a tennis player and as an athlete. But it's it's really, really, really well written and I'm enjoying it and I'll probably finish it by the time we leave South Australia. Um, I'm already at 10 books for the year. I finished Tuesdays with Maury yesterday, which is a fantastic book that I would definitely recommend. It's pretty good. We're still in January and I've almost read like 15 books. I reckon by the end of January I'll have read about 15 books because probably on the way home from South, South Australia I'll finish an entire audio book so I might even finish an audio book while I'm in South Australia that's 13 right there before I know it I'll be at 15 books this time last year I hadn't even set my goal of reading 70 books and I ended up reading 144 so I can only imagine how many I'm going to read this year and I have like three weeks of leave coming up pretty soon that's going to be spent devouring books and snorkeling and stuff anyway um, we've got like 35 minutes or something it's going to be good can't wait to see the girls
I'm on an IKEA trip and we're currently uh, buying stamp for their barbecue because we're having a barbecue for my birthday today. So it's going to be good. Love IKEA. It's the same everywhere.